So let's just come back to the colours that we've made here and we can have a little look at crossing our colour wheel. I might just pop this aside and I'm just going to go back to the colour wheel for a moment because this will give you a slightly better idea of it. So here we've got our primary red, we've, got, we've actually got a cobalt blue but a, a fairly primary blue and a medium yellow. If we are to look straight across our colour wheel, so we've got our primaries, our secondaries and our tertiaries, if we were to look across, this is where we find, this is where the excitement happens, we can find our complementary, our opposite or our contrasting. It all is basically the same thing. So yellow is purple, so they're contrasting opposite and complementary. Our red and our green, so they're opposites, complementaries and contrasting. And the same here with our blue and our orange. So they look fantastic together too because they're complementary and opposites and contrasting. So what we might do now is just start looking at what happens when we start mixing those colours together. Because this is actually a very interesting thing and very exciting when you want to start mixing some really new fun colours. Okay, so let's think, right, I would like an olivey green. So how, I've only got my three colours of, you know, I've mixed a few other colours, how am I going to get my olivey green? So what we'll do, we'll start from scratch, we'll get a little bit of blue, so we might just go to the side here, get some blue, and remembering our yellow, popping that in there makes our beautiful green. So that gives us a lovely kind of grassy green, which is nice. I'm happy with that green. Now I want to make it dirtier. So I'm going to make it an olivey green. So looking across, this is our colour triangle actually, but uh, if we were to look at it as colour wheel, we're looking across and red is our complementary colour, our opposite or our contrasting. So we're going to snafu a tiny, tiny bit of red. It will change very quickly. So seriously, just a tiny, tiny touch of red. I've probably even got too much there. And we're going to mix that in with our green and you can already see I've actually got see I can already see there's too much red in there but I've got a beautiful olivey it's almost like a brown so I'll just go back in with my original colors so I made my green with my blue and my yellow so I'll just add a little bit more of that that's a bit more of an olivey green so that's a really lovely deep, deep green. Nice olive colour. Okay, so next let's have a look. So let's do like an ochre yellow. So we've got our yellow, we look straight across our colour wheel. So we'll pop down some yellow. And we'll get some of our purple. And we'll mix that in there. So we've got a nice murky, gorgeous, ochre sort of yellow. And again, just with our basic colours, we've already made another couple of colours. Uh, let's look at blue and orange. So looking across the colour wheel again, start with my blue, a bit more blue. I haven't got a lot of orange here, but we'll scrape that all up and mix it in with my blue. So that's made a bit of a dirty, it's actually quite a greeny blue because there's a fair bit of yellow in that orange. So just to deepen that orange sort of colour, I'll just get a little bit of red. We'll just deepen that a little bit. So as you can see, there's a lot of playing going on here. So I've made quite a brown, so it's not even blue anymore. So right, we'll go back and we'll put a bit more blue in there. So there's a dirty blue, really beautiful dirty blue, which is working really nicely. So the same way we made this olivey green, we can still use the opposites to make a dirty red. So let's start with some red. 
but we just won't add as much green this time. So we want to keep it fairly red and we'll just have a little bit of green, a little bit more green than that. So there we go, we've got a nice deep, deep dark red. And I'm gonna to need to make up a little bit more purple. Not doing very well with my quantities today, but anyway, you get the picture. Okay. So there's our nice purple again. So we're gonna start with our purple this time. Throw down some purple. And even though this red and blue makes quite a dirty purple, if I wanted to make that even dirtier, I'd look back across my color wheel and go, okay, it's opposite is yellow. So we'll throw a little bit of yellow in there. This is where I've got a really beautiful purpley brown. Very, very nice. Fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going to need a little bit more orange because we're gonna mix our blue and our orange. So we'll start with orange over here. So I want a dirty orange now. So always just coming back to here, looking straight across. Okay, that's my blue is my opposite. Tiny bit of blue, might even have less. And there we go, a nice murky browny orangey color. They're actually fairly similar, but you could change them up a little bit, a little bit more orange. So there we go, we've just made six more colors. Just out of the very basic one, two, three that we had to start with. So you can see why I get really excited about this stuff. It's like, you can just do so much with so little really. Um, so have a little play with that, experiment. And then when you're ready, when you're feeling quite confident about mixing your primaries to make a secondary and a tertiary, then mixing your opposites, so this way, complementary or contrasting colours and mixing a whole bunch of other colours. Then jump into the next chapter because now I've got another fun little surprise for you.